Okay, step 24 involves attaching the motor and this motor plate to the actual transmission. Fairly simple task. Just got to make sure this gap from this plate to the outer edge of the uh, gear is 14.5 millimeters. That's what it uh, recommends. That's what to me it recommends to do. So we'll just use that and uh, obviously you look at it by eye if it's not crash hot like that is I'll move it out a little bit you can see that it's not exactly in line with that so I'll move it out a couple mil what I might actually do I'll put it on the actual plate here screw it on and I'll adjust this so it's pretty much perfectly in line with the main gear on the uh, transmission so I'll lock it in place and then we can move it okay so you can see I've just loosened off this little grub screw and I've moved the gear here forward so it meshes exactly if I can get that to focus in line with the main gear on the transmission once you're happy with it you just lock it down make sure you got lock tight on all of these is imperative because they will work their way loose if you don't and you'll have strip, a strip gear and you're not going to be happy so there we go uh, next major thing it's very important is to get the mesh right so a good rule of thumb if you're new to this you can get a little bit of paper put it in between here and if the paper can go in between there then generally it's good mesh now if i can't get it on camera which i hold it with two hands like that the paper can still travel through there it's got a good mesh and you can just if you've been around the hobby for a while you just know that it's not binding it's nice and free and you can look there it's and the teeth aren't mashing up against each other because this will that will cause a lot of uh, friction and will cause excessive uh, stress on all the components and obviously drain your battery much faster but yeah simple rule you can see it spins nice so let's make they're all locked away these two here obviously this one goes in first and uh, you leave a little bit loose then you use this one it pivots off here then you can adjust the actual the distance in between the, in the, uh, the spacing for the gears pretty easy Okay, next step, got this nice little gear cover that you put on top like that. Saves any rocks from flying in there and jamming up the gears. That just, that just requires, it's got these 10 mil, 10 mil uh, screws here, it's a bit much. And uh, it's, a nice, it's a nice tight fit in there, covers up everything nicely. Okay, and that is step 24. On to step 25, which involves attaching all the propeller joints, universal joints, uh, etc. Onto the bottom of the gearbox here. Fun stuff. Hey guys. Step uh, 25, attaching the, or the, to me I call it propeller shafts or universal joints, these are the universal joints, so you can direct power from a different height to the uh, differential or vice versa, so it just transmits power. Great uh, little design, always loved them, but yeah, so it's a telescopic one, so here we go. So you got two in this kit, you got a long and a short. The long one attaches to this upper shaft and it's a really simple installation. The grub screw that you see there has to meet up with this flat surface here. Fairly easy. Nothing uh, too uh, hard about it. Make sure you put plenty of Loctite on those little grub screws because you don't want them coming out. Especially when you're in the field, you uh, 
have a lot of trouble finding them. So that's all it is, like that. Also in this step it was connecting this little attachment here, sorry, little attachment here, and these black spaces. Now these, you put these on after you attach this, and they determine from the, I think the next few steps the the correct uh, space for the gear linkage gear linkages when you're hooking up the actual servo. So there's that one. Then this bottom one, same as the top, goes there. Too easy. I'll do that one up later. But that was step 24 and 25. 26 is actually installing it in the truck, so that'll be good. Okay, step 26, where we're going to marry all this together and hopefully they all get along for a long, long time without any issues. So it's fairly easy. First step. <clears throat> Add some grease to these two points here. One here, because they sit in these little rubber mounts on the chassis, and so they just can rub freely without, I guess, uh, getting stuck or whatnot. There we go. That's all we need to do there. And yep, just gonna slide it in there. It's a bit tricky off on the camera, but I'll manage. There we go. Gentle persuasion that'll go in. Line this camera up. Okay, it should be easy to see now. So the transmission fits into these little rubber grommets in the main chassis rail there and there. And it just gets held in position up here on the main chassis brace. Just using two of these beefy 3x6mm cap screws. Don't forget your best friend here. And that's it. Fairly easy. Simple process. Now the only thing else left doing. Once I do the other one up. Is attaching the uh, universal joints or propeller shaft to the front and rear diffs as well. It's very easy to do. I'm glad to see this actually sitting in the uh, chassis now. Let's make sure this is all nice and straight before I torque them down. Okay, so the benefit of these as well being telescopic, you can fit these around the ends there. So, there you go, the smaller one goes to the front diff, the larger one comes down to the rear. So, yep, last step is attaching. We're just putting these little, actually quite beefy, um, what are they called again? Lost my memory. Grub screws, that's the one. Make sure you get the flat section. It's always important, otherwise it'll just spin like crazy. There we 
go. She is not going anywhere, that's for sure. And I'll do the front off camera, but there we go, guys. What do you think? Looking pretty good, in my opinion. Next step, uh, next series of steps is actually the electronics, so that'll be cool. Start to come alive then. But yeah, that's how she's looking now. Step this back a bit so you can see. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. Thanks, guys.